All right, now we're doing Freight Code Camp, New Response Web Design, Learn Intermediate CSS by Building a Picasso Painting, Step 10. So the Z-Index property is used to create layers for our HTML elements. If we are familiar with the image, pardon me, with image editing tools, uh, we may have worked with layers before. Uh, this is a similar concept. Elements with a higher Z-Index will pardon me, z-index value will appear to be layered on top of elements with lower z-index values. All right. Uh, this can be combined with the positioning in the previous lesson to create unique effects. Okay. Uh, since the back wall element will need to appear behind the other elements we will be creating, we're going to give the back wall element a z-index of negative one. All right. So we're going to do, pardon me, so we're going to do Z index negative one semicolon like that and nothing happened, but let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 11 and we'll see you next time.